In this vlog, we explore Guramay's open air museum, we enjoy some traditional Cappadocian cuisine, and we buy a Turkish carpet. Today we've come out to Gurme um, Open Air Museum and basically this is where all the rock churches and, and everything are. I mean people used to live in these rocks um, and that's why everything is like a rock hotel, everything here. And so we're going to have a look at it. It is madness today. It is still Bayram in Turkey and I think everyone spent the first part of the holiday with their families and now they're all traveling. So I remember this having this all to ourselves in 2005. And now it is like mayhem, but we are still gonna get out and about. The ticket office is also new. I don't remember that from before. It was 125 just to see the main sites. If you wanna see the dark church or anything like that, that one is 40 extra. And some of the other places are extra as well. So, um, you know, just, just to be aware, to bring, bring some money whenever you come. Crowds waiting to go up. The churches of Gurame's fairy chimneys were mostly built around the year 900. Carved and decorated by people called Anchorites, that is, people who had dropped out of secular or pagan society to follow a prayer oriented life. There were about 200 Anchorites living in the caves in the 1200s. We're outside Apple Church here one of the best preserved churches here and it's called Apple Church you can see the sign there and you can't see anything but they won't let us take a picture inside unfortunately so that's all you can see actually a complex of Christian churches that were cut out of volcanic rock in the Middle Ages. Um, they're amazing and I kept calling them rocks earlier, it's caves, so they're cave churches and cave hotels, sorry about that, my mind was gone. Um, and so you can see that it is really busy and all I can say is I feel very blessed to have come here in 2005, 2006 and seen it before this because it was magical then. Now you can't take any photos, you can't video anything inside and there are just people everywhere. So yeah, I guess it's lost a lot of the charm that I remember. I'm actually quite sad um, because I had such good memories of this place and now yeah, it just is mass tourism. But it's still beautiful, it's amazing. I mean, like I said, maybe I should just consider myself blessed to have seen it whenever I did. I would always say you should come here if you have the opportunity because it's that amazing. Yeah, and what do we think about the value? It was 125 lira for the ticket for just the the more ordinary parts, an extra 40 lira for the dark yeah. church. I would say, even though we didn't buy the 40 lira ticket for the dark church, I would actually recommend you do it because yeah. just seeing it from the distance, it looks amazing. So I think if you do come and it's your first time here, buy that extra ticket, go into the dark church. 
On a world scale, I'd say it's worth it because you pay a lot for, you know, for a lot of these major complexes. But it does feel like a lot when there are just so many people here. You don't get a map or anything when you come in, like with your ticket. And I just think, you know, it could be done a bit better. But that said, I do think it's worth it. And like I said, I think I was just lucky to have seen it in um, quieter times. Yeah, so it's about, uh, what, eight, nine US dollars. Yeah, so which is on good a value, world actually. scale is really good value. But um, yeah, it's uh, completely busy. Hey, look at the people everywhere. Yeah, it's hard to get a good sense of the place when it's there are just so many people. A little bit sad, eh? Mass tourism is taking its toll on the world, unfortunately. But you can't blame people. Who doesn't want to travel, eh? Yeah, and who wouldn't want to see this? Yeah. <laughs> We're here, Susan, for the third time, me for the second time. So, you know, it's amazing. Yeah, so let's sign off for this one. Yep. And have a great day. Thanks for joining us. We're and Girls on the Loose. Yeah, we're Girls on the Loose. Please subscribe and like. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So we've just come down the road from the open air museum and across from it and it's much better here actually because there aren't the crowds um so we've just been walking around and you can see you know the same type of cr um, carved cross in here um, that you see at the other place and there are also some amazing vistas lots of caves still to explore have a look around and you don't have the masses so my advice for gourmet is to um, get away from it all and just walk around. Yeah, there's some paintings still in here, minimal, but some. And at least you can photograph them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Was it the red in there? Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice across this side. Definitely recommend if you're doing it independently that you take an extra hour and tag it on and come over here. We've decided to come out to one of the most local restaurants and highly recommended restaurants here in Cappadocia. It's called Cappadocian Cuisine and it's famous for its testy pots which are basically clay pots stews and Steph's already here yep. hey Steph so what are we having today well we're having a set menu that they have so it was for the lamb I think it was 130 you get soup and so this is the Mejimek Chorba I've heard it's really good you get the testy kebab and we got um, lamb uh, you get a salad and you also get uh, rice and so you get that for 130 and yeah, I've heard 130 great things. lira. 130 lira. And I heard great things about this place. And because we've been out exploring all afternoon, we also have a nice cold epis to wash it all down. Yeah. So, yep, let's see how this goes. A little squeeze of lemon. I love lemon in it. really nice Mejimex, so that's lentil soup. And it's got a lovely flavor, and, and you can see the little bits of lentil, so it's a, you know, it's real soup. It's not some packet mix. Mm. Yeah. Lovely. It's one of my favorites. So we it's have ready. to, this is a testy kebab, which is like a lamb stew here in uh, Cappadocia, and it's cooked inside this clay pot. And to open it, we have to crack the pot open. So let's go. Wow. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Look at that. Nice, beautiful. I'm letting the professional do mine. Oh, and she did a good job too. Thank you. Thank you. So traditional. Testy kebab here. That's good. And what do we have with it? Salad, rice, and bread. Salad and rice and bread. Delicious. Looks delicious.
Okay, Steph, we're a bit into it. How's it been? Delicious. It's tomato, it's got some green pepper, and the lamb just falls apart in your mouth. It's really, really soft. Absolutely delicious. And the salad's really nice too. It has a nice dressing on it. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right. So we'll sign this off for dinner tonight. Uh, please like and subscribe. Where? Girls on the loose. Catch you next time. Hey guys. So I've come out today to check out some carpets. Anatolia and Gurame in particular is quite famous for its carpets. The carpet shop here is run by a gentleman who's uh, super friendly and when we first rocked into town our accommodation wasn't ready and he offered us chai and a seat while we waited for our room to be ready. So um, the least they can do is introduce you to him and let's see what he's up to today. So the name of the business is Kervan Carpet and Killam. And here we are. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Are you working on a carpet here today? My therapy. I sitting outside and waiting the customer. That's the old pieces. Uh, old, some old dowry pieces are damaged. More than 80, 90 years pieces damaged. I keeping the old... The old wool? The kilim and more damage. I take in the yarn and using for the fixing repair. Okay, so you're repairing the carpet yes. with used yarn. Yes. So it so it looks used because the carpet's 90 yes. years old. Yes, it must be made with the old yarn, 90 years, yeah. 100 years with the yarn. We, old carpet, new, the repair is not good with the new yarn repair. Yeah, it would look obvious. Yes. Yeah. And after maybe more damage, I did that patchwork. That patchwork? Yes. Oh, Less wow. damage we Fantastic carpets here, huh? And also each region and making own symbol, own pattern, own logo. I look in the pattern, I can say which region making with the color about age 25 years, my experience. Okay, so for example, this uh, pattern here, from which region is it? This is Sivas. Sivas. Sivas making that Sivas. symbol. And that one over there, the red one? This is the Konya, Demirji. Konya. Demirji. Demiji, village. Demiji village, village. village yes. even specific village. Yes. The village. Oh wow! Which so which one would we find in Gurame? The Gurame, the, this Kapadoki making the flower, daisy flower, the pattern making. Oh okay. Design. It's a flower you. design. Okay. Yes. yes. Please show me. So let's go inside his shop. Excuse me. What's your name? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Nice to meet you, nice Ibrahim. This is a Turkish map. Okay, so we can see all the different uh, yes. symbols yes. that are put into carpets yes. to let people know from which region yeah, they definitely, originated. Definitely. So where are we? Where's Kayseri? Uh, Kayseri yeah. is and that where we belong right now? Daisy, daisy flower. It's a daisy. Nomad, nomad making hand on the hips. The Ladik making the tulip. Demirji, the upside. This I saying. That's the Konya village Demirji, making the is that one? star star pattern. The star the pattern. Oh, I quite like the abacus. It's yes. a nice one. Hand on the hip star and the third little like this. This Turkish carpet. Different okay. region so you have making different patterns. Patterns. Oh. Like this. So it's quite important. So when people buy a carpet, yes. they're interested in getting a carpet from a specific region. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. So I, so it's not just so, oh, it looks nice. No. It also has some official meaning. Of course, and also 25 years my experience. I understand with the color about each how old the carpet. Okay. Doesn't okay. Yeah. Nice. Can you can you show me one that's a local carpet? I show you. That's the patchwork. Some different area, old antique pieces, the more damage we keeping, we make the patchwork and the recycle. I would give our business card. Sure. And this is the Cappadocian carpet from here. Okay. This one's Cappadocian. Mm. You see, this is the flower design. Okay. And from Cappadocia, Yahyalı, the village, Kayseri village, Yahyalı making the same. Kayseri village. Yes. So Gurame comes comes under Kayseri. Yes, this is the Cappadocia. We say the it's, it's the same for yeah. Gurame, Ergib, Uchisa. Yes. They're oh, all together yes. for under yes. Kayseri. Okay. Okay, Ibrahim. So when did you take over this carpet shop? Uh, also my father's job. Oh, it was your father's yes. job too. So I learned with my father. You told me you moved from Istanbul. Yes. 
Yes, before we will live in Istanbul, and I work in also Istanbul, but my father and my father and doing this job, and it's also our building here and making this here. Okay, so you moved from Istanbul how many years ago? 17 years ago. 17, 17 years, years ago. ago. And are you happy in Gurme? Of course. This is, a, uh, this is a quiet and relaxed. It's, it's natural. A, it's a it's nice enough. place, isn't it? Yes. I love Gurme too. Um, and how is business? Obviously, during COVID, business was bad. Uh, no, but it takes that. Okay. The, we'll, I love the handmade art. I love the work. I love the repair. I love my job. I have also made a friend in 17 years we are here. And we have also many customers. I'm happy. And Thanks I up. think many customers are coming back because yeah. I went to the open air museum. Yes. I went on the ATVs. Yes. There are a lot of tourists in yes. town, right? Hopefully, so, so, more people coming. So, inshallah, one inshallah. month, two months, <laughs> uh, you will have a lot of customers. Yes, I hope so. Inshallah. Thank you very much you very for much. talking to me. Oh, Sorry, my English is not good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Awesome shop here, everyone. So, if you, if you come to uh, Gourmet, Please drop by and uh, say hi to Ibrahim. He'd love to sell you a carpet. And if you're looking for a carpet, there's probably no better place. And he's definitely a genuine man and worthy of a sale. So thank you everyone for watching and catch you in the next segment. Bye bye, Ibrahim. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, bye -bye. so just to prove to you that we're true to our word and we believe buying a carpet from Ibrahim is a good deal, we've. Uh, <laughs> Steph, have we have we gone for this one? Yep, 99% sure. 99% <laughs> sure. We've gone for this carpet. So, Ibrahim, can you tell us a little bit about this carpet? Age and design? Like the, the old antique pieces. This is about 900 years old pieces, but too much damage. We keep in small part and we're making it again with the hand stitch together. Okay, so some and of the parts of old carpets yes. have been put into this carpet. Recycle. A recycle. Second life. Awesome. <laughs> we have to buy it. This is uh, <laughs> a scorpion. That's a scorpion. Scorpion design. That's also a scorpion and design. This is the evil eye design. And it's a wonderful, lovely cat. <laughs> <laughs> it is a wonderful, lovely cat. But by the way, our cat tried to attack from inside about, the bag. Uh, I understand with the color, about age, how old. This is minimum, I think, 80, 90 years old pieces 80 inside. 80 or 90 years about, old, the about. pieces inside it. Yes. Wow. And how much will this cost us, Ibrahim? Uh, 750 lira. 750, 750 lira. lira. And handmade art. Handmade art, art and recycled art. Yes. And a piece of Cappadocia yeah, to go And a piece, piece of Cappadocia to take home. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting it. Okay. Sold. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Believe me, carpet shops are dangerous. Don't come in unless you are willing <laughs> to leave with a carpet. <laughs> yes, even if it's a smaller piece. This is a smaller piece. Um, we don't have a house. We don't have a house, but we can put it on the wall in our rental. Yeah. And we will because it's beautiful. And you can remember Kabadokia forever. Yeah, and we'll remember you and your generosity and hospitality Thank when we arrived in town because we were a little bit flustered with our cats and uh, you were very kind. So thank you, sir. And uh, sold. Wrap it up. <laughs>